I believe marriage engagements are best made without a ring. To be clear, it's the ring I don't want. The getting engaged part sounds like a great time. Yes, I bite my nails, and I'm a little self-conscious about my hammer thumbs, but the reason for my anti-engagement position has absolutely nothing to do with my hands. My reasons are hidden in my conscience. They're twisted up in the wires of my brain. They're ingrained in whatever makes me the person I am and drives me to become the person I'm trying to be. As a journalist, I have a healthy appreciation for logic in both thought and action. I can't see the logic behind a decision to drop a wad of cash on a piece of jewelry at a time when the average young couple has little money and an unusually large number of expenses. It seems more logical to sink money into something useful and necessary, like a dining room table or a down payment on a place to live. As a pragmatist, I think spare money should be invested, especially when a person is young. Life is uncertain, and so is the stock market, but over time, investment makes financial sense. If a young man has enough money to buy a ring, he should invest the money in the couple's future. An engagement ring may be a symbol of a man's financial commitment to a woman, but a joint stock portfolio is proof of it. As a woman, I don't appreciate being branded. It's so insulting to me that women are expected to wear a ring before the wedding so that everyone knows, regardless of whether she wants to tell them, that she's taken. Men, however, are spared this immediate public separation from their single lives. They aren't expected to practice being publicly spoken for until the day they say, I do. As a human, I have a responsibility to alleviate human suffering where I can. Refusing to buy diamonds is a small, easy step in that direction. Choosing not to support an industry that has been so obviously responsible for war, slavery, and poverty in developing countries is no skin off my back. The people of Sierra Leone have paid for too many engagement rings with their limbs. None of those rings will ever be mine. I know I might be alone on my anti-engagement ring crusade. Most of the women I know are either wearing an engagement ring or looking forward to wearing one, even if they agree with me in principle. Most of the men I know have given one such ring or are looking forward to giving one. Both women and men have a hard time believing that I really don't want a diamond, so I'm getting mentally ready for the day when the man I love gets down on one knee and offers me a ring he believes I must secretly want. I'm ready to accept his proposal, and after some gentle explanation, hock the ring and buy stock an apple if it ever falls below 120.